Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to, show you how to change the battery in a HP Studio Gen 3 laptop. This is one with one of the internal batteries that are popular in a lot of designs now. You're going to need a screwdriver and a special hex torque screw um, because that uh, HP does use a special screw um, for whatever reason in some of their designs. So the first thing to do is turn it upside down. We're going to take the bottom off. Several screws. Again, you'll probably run into these uh, hex head screws, so you'll need a special tool that's available pretty much any tool store. Um, you'll see we'll take out the four on the very outer corners. Those screws, once we remove them, we need to get the sub panel off the top the, where the graded area is. And there's a screw in the middle to first take out. Once we remove this sub uh, bottom, it will reveal a couple of other hidden screws that will be necessary to get the total bottom of the laptop off. Again, this is a lot of the new designs that went to these internal batteries. It's not like the old days where you could just slide the battery off from the bottom of the laptop. You actually got to physically take the thing apart. So once you've gotten the screws off that sub panel, it just comes right off. And then it exposes a couple of other screws that hold the rest of the bottom plate on. There's one in the center there. And then the whole bottom plate will pop off as soon as you get all the screws done done. There's one off to the right that I missed there. And there's one on the left hand corner. Again, it'll gently pop off. So if you meet any resistance, you probably missed a screw. So there it is. Pops right off. And there you're exposed to the whole bottom of the laptop. The battery's right there. Of course, you can see the memory there and... There's a hard drive spot there also. Okay, now you can use our Phillips screwdriver. For some reason, they mix and match screws. There's uh, several screws that hold this battery in place. So you need to locate them around the perimeter of this battery. Removing them will allow you to get the battery out it does have a cable where it plugs into the motherboard and we'll show that as soon as we get all the screws removed it's a fairly straightforward assembly here just a question of locating all the screws and getting them undone a couple of these are tight to get that screwed driver head in. I use a number one Phillips screwdriver. It works really well. Okay. They got a lot of screws holding this thing in. Once you've got them all out, you can just lift the battery up. And then once you've gotten the battery completely loose of all the mounting screws, there is a small cable that pulls straight out. There's no retaining clip or anything. You just pull it straight out. Just be careful should pop right off you can see it there and that's it now you've got the old battery out the uh, process then to reinstall your new battery is to do everything we just did in reverse take the new battery first of all plug it into the motherboard should go in real easily don't force it if you got it lined up properly it'll just slide right on and then you Slip that new battery in position. Find this multitude of screws that they've designed to hold it in there. And begin putting those screws back in. Now at this point, I'm going to show you how to put the screws back in, which again is just the same process we just did, only in reverse. If you're really smart and weren't sure that this battery was any good or not, you might want to turn this over and power it up before you 
drill all these screws back in their holes just in case you, your second battery wasn't any good or you didn't have a good connection. Just be careful if you do that that you don't expose any of the circuitry on the bottom of this laptop to any metal. So just if you flip it over gently and put it on a, in our case it's a foam top desk, it's not going to cause any problems. But I just wouldn't put it down on top of anything metal because you could short something in the board out. But not a bad idea to test it. We're not going to on this one because I know this is a good battery. We're just going to put it back in with all those screws. And that's a pretty simple process. Just take the bottom of this system off, deal with a lot of screws, and put it back on. And you've just changed your battery. I won't uh, go through all the screw assemblies, uh, just point them out. Just like we took them off, you're going to do it in reverse. And that's all you need to do. And you've changed the battery on your ZBook Studio. If you uh, like this video, uh, indicate so below. Subscribe to our channel. We come out with tips and tricks uh, all the time for laptops uh, that we think would uh, help our customers. Uh, feel uh, free to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.